This is how you might create a bi-temporal table. You see, temporal tables are time-based, and there are three types of them. You can create a valid time temporal table. You can create a transaction time temporal table, or you can create this, which is bi-temporal, which has both valid time and transaction time. What I want you to focus on right now are the keyword aliases. As I've said here, I've created this table. It's got four columns. Notice column three is defined as valid time. Not often you see a table create statement where you're giving the column an alias when it sees as valid time and as transaction time. Teradata says that's a bi-temporal table. Taking our example further, I've highlighted the data type for valid time and transaction time. They are period data types. A period data type will present two periods of time, a beginning period and an ending period. Down here you can see some examples of when we bought this, January 1st, 2011, and then 9999-1231. This is still an open row. It had a beginning transaction date or time, but it did not have an ending, and that's how they say they still own this. It's still open. As you can see in the next, we have a beginning date and an ending date, which means it is a closed row. That period of time has come and gone from the beginning to the end. And you can have that as either a date or down below you can see a timestamp beginning and then the 999-1231, which means that row is still open from a timestamp perspective. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.